Hello, book club. Happy Monday. Let's start with our check in. So if you are reading along with us this month, our featured book club book of the month, What's Not Said by Valerie Taylor. How far have you read so far? As you can see, I do not have a bookmark in it anymore because I have finished the book this weekend. It was a fantastic read that's hard to put down. I'll be interested to hear where all of you are in the reading process of this book right now. I know there are some members that were just starting to read this weekend. And I also know there are other members who have messaged me that they finished reading the book already as well. Now that I finished reading What's Not Said, the next step for me will be to write a review for Valerie. She's already told us they're most helpful for her on Amazon, Goodreads, and BookBub. Once I've written and posted my reviews, one of the last videos that I share this month about what's not said will be sharing my review with you. And at any time, I would really love if you share your reviews with us in the Facebook group or here in the comments of the books that we've read or any reviews you'd like to share. Reviews are so important, and I always love to see what your experience was reading the books that we get to talk about and share together. Along with a reading check-in from this weekend, authors, how was your weekend? Were you working hard writing this weekend? Did you hit any milestones or goals that you would like to share with us in your writing process? We love to hear what you're up to and we love to cheer you on. In our virtual book club, I know that we have authors along with aspiring authors. So with my writing goals right now um, and the process where I'm at in it, I wanted to share some tips that might be helpful for you. So I've written a children's book that I am in the process right now of submitting to agents. Um, when you write something, you have the option of either trying to go traditional with your publishing or indie publishing. There's no right or wrong answer to what you choose. It's all a very individualized um, preference and journey for each author. Me right now, I'm personally trying to go the traditional route. First, I would like to say I am sharing these not in conjunction with these sites. Um, but again, they're just helpful resources that I've come across, and I hope if I can share information that helps, here it is. Uh, I have come across Bookends Literary Agency on YouTube. They have some fantastic videos and a lot of helpful information if you are writing a query letter to try and submit your work. Another resource I'd like to share with you that I found very helpful is a site called Query Tracker. You can sign up with an account for free. There are other accounts that cost money where you can get additional options. Um, but for me, it, the free one is working really well for helping me search information that I need and also to keep track of it. Um, so what's really cool about this is I'm submitting a picture book. So I was able to put in a basic search of agents that are currently looking for picture books. So I hope those resources are helpful for anybody watching. Um, and I did also want to say that I, it, I'm going to my second week of not hearing back, which oddly enough is a good sign <laughs> that maybe they're um, one working on stuff for their clients that they already have before taking on new ones, which is, you know, why you're looking for an agent, you want to work with them um, and have them be on your side. So what another sign is, is that two, maybe they've looked at your query and they are considering it. So it's a very reverse thing than we're used to with the rest of the world. If they, you submit it and it takes a really long time to hear back, that's usually a good sign that they are considering you. Um, and I know that's very backward in our world where we have so much technology now that everything is instant confirmation um, and instant feedback. So it is a different mindset that you have to go into it with like, okay, I'm submitting this and I hope I don't hear back for a few weeks. <laughs> and I hope that when it is a few weeks, it's good news. So my fingers are crossed. And like I said, I hope if any of that information is helpful, if you have other questions about it um, that I can help you out with, also let me know. I'm also excited to share with you about some upcoming events. If you're not already a member in our corresponding book club Facebook group, you can find the link below in the description. In this screen share, you can see our Facebook group page. Um, new to the page today, I have added a poll so that you can help us vote for what's the best time that you could make it in our live follow-up interview with Valerie Taylor on May 27th. I'd really appreciate it if you vote in the poll um, or if you leave a comment here below. It'll be a Zoom link for the interview. For those attending live, members will have a really exciting opportunity that I'll share more about next week in our video that Valerie is offering for a giveaway. 
If you are not able to attend live at any of these available times as well to vote on, please do let me know in advance if you have any questions you would like me to ask Valerie for you during the interview. It will be posted after on our YouTube channel. While you're watching, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And next to the subscribe button is the little bell icon so that you can get notifications when videos like the interview post. Also in our Facebook group, I've gotten to add a new event tab today. We're going to have an author takeover on June 1st from 12 noon to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Donna Keel Armour. The way that you participate in an author takeover is just keeping an eye out for the author's posts on our Facebook group book club page within the time range it's set. So from 12 noon to 5 p.m. that day, she'll be getting to do lots of fun posts with questions, information about her and her book, um, discussions, chats a whole great time that you get to interact with the author and learn more about her work. There's also going to be a giveaway opportunity at the end of her takeover. So please remember to subscribe while you're here because that's going to be one of the steps to be able to enter for her giveaway. I'm excited to welcome this author with you to our page. She is going to be one of the authors with a book in our brand new poll for book club book of the month choices after the current poll of authors have all gotten their chance to be book club book of the month. Um, that's going to start about eight months out from now. Her book will be an option in the poll. So on our Facebook group page, each weekday, I've been posting discussions about the chapters um, and also writing prompts. So seeing I've been doing that on the actual Facebook page this month instead of in the videos, I would like to take time in this video to talk about the Spotify playlist in the back of What's Not Said and also the questions for book club discussions in the back. My first thoughts on the Spotify playlist, have you been listening to the playlist while you read or is this something that you're going to check out when you get to the back of the book? Um, I find the songs on here really entertaining to go along with the book and I hope that you do too. I would also love to know of all of the songs on the playlist, do you have a favorite on there? Or are there some maybe that you've never heard of? If you haven't gotten a chance to check out the Spotify playlist yet, it includes the songs The Sound of Silence, where Did Our Love Go, Run Around Sue, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, Sweet Caroline, O oh Sol Mio, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, Great Balls of Fire, Breaking Up is Hard to Do, All in Love is Fair, You've Got a Friend, Mrs. Robinson, Photograph, Need You Now, Come Away With Me, and Celebration. Right now I'm doing a screen share for you of Valerie's beautiful website. I really love that not only in the back of what's not said is the book club discussion guide, but also accessible through her website. Um, so the questions are here. There are 15 questions that you can think about while you're reading or check out after and see what your your thoughts on all these are. Um, I'm going to just hone in on to one question right now, which is something that Valerie brought up in our Facebook group recently, and that is question number two. What do you think about Cassie's theory that marriage should be a five-year renewable contract? What are the pros and cons? Could it ever work? I think this is a really interesting concept at looking at marriage, um, and I would really love to know your thoughts on this. Also, looking through this list, let me know if there are any questions within the discussion guide that you think would be fun to talk about during our end interview for the follow up with Valerie. I look forward to hearing all of your comments and discussions, questions that you have for me or for Valerie. Um, I want to hear where you're at in the book. I want to hear how authors are doing. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading and I will see you in the Facebook group this week and back here on YouTube on Monday.